Hello, Victory Green Hills. Welcome to our Wednesday uh, uh, prayer meeting for our lunchtime. Uh, I know again, all of us, it's been uh, our second week of being under uh, community quarantine and uh, most of us uh, were given this time to slow down, to uh, uh, spend time with family, to have more time to read the Word of God. And I want to share something today for us as believers, as a church, and it's found in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 12. And let me read it to you. It says, The word of the Lord came to me. I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. But I protested, Oh no, Lord God, look, I don't know how to speak since I am only a youth. Then the Lord said to me, do not say, I am only a youth, for you will go to everyone I send you to and speak whatever I tell you. Do not be afraid of anyone, for I will be with you to deliver you. This is the Lord's declaration. Then the Lord reached out his hand, touched my mouth, and told me, I have now filled your mouth with my words. See, I have appointed you today over nations and kingdoms, to uproot and tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and plant. Then the word of the Lord came to me, asking, What do you see, Jeremiah? I replied, I see a branch of an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen correctly, for I, ha for I watch over my word to accomplish it. You know, this is such a powerful text that talks about uh, God's teaching Jeremiah something about the prophetic and as Christians we are called to uh, speak prophetically over our nation especially now at a time like this when everybody's speaking death and fear and and doubt as Christians we are called to speak in faith we're called to speak life we are called to be a prophet to the nation the question is what kind of message are we giving out there now the way to activate your faith is to open the Word of God and find out what God is already saying. And that's why I love the end when he was talking to Jeremiah. He, he said, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. When God gives a prophetic word, when God gives a word to us, the church, He is in the business of accomplishing the word. And this is the same way we need to respond today as we pray to the Lord, as we pray the scripture. What we're saying is, Lord, what your promises, uh, what, what your promises in the word holds true for me now. And even as we've declared Jesus is Lord over the Philippines, that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I will come and hear their prayers and, and forgive their sin and heal their land. Those are the words that the Lord is saying. And when we pray scripturally and prophetically this, uh, the verses over our nation and over our life, I believe God wants to accomplish the promises that He has for us. But we've got to stand in the gap. That's why we pray every day. That's why we rally you to pray every day. In Proverbs 4, verse 20 to 22, it says, my son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. I want you to see the effect of the word. It says, keep it within your heart because they are life to those who find them. To those you will encounter during this time whether it's through social media or through phone calls and the people that you pray for the words of God are words of life for the people that we encounter and it's going to bring healing to all flesh I've called so many people the past few days praying for them some have been affected by the virus some are under quarantine some are under investigation but it is the same prayer and faith that I would always give them. That I believe that every time we speak words of healing, 
we speak words of life and base it on the promises of scripture it will bring healing to all flesh even as we speak prophetically to the nation to our nation and around the world as churches come together to pray i believe god is doing something in the spirit realm and is bringing healing to all flesh but i want to go back to proverbs 4 verse 20 it says there my son be attentive to my words the word attentive means to closely observe to gain full comprehension it's like a doctor who's in the hospital and he's fully attentive he's observing the symptoms and 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 if the patient is doing well or not and they would go on a 24-hour cycle of observing and seeing what's about to happen and this is what the lord was saying to jeremiah he was saying look at that almond tree because i am going to accomplish my word when i say it it's going to come to pass and that's why i want to encourage everyone today to pray in faith to pray prophetically to decree and say god you're going to bring healing to our nation lord this too shall pass this virus will not affect my family lord i pray for a divine covering and healing over my family for protection and for those who have been affected we're going to pray and declare in faith that god is going to bring about healing we stand on his word we stand on his promises let me end with this very familiar verse in joshua 1 8 it says the book of the law the scripture shall not depart from our mouth but we shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success church it's high time we get into this word it's high time we say lord i am putting uh, this word of god in my mouth i'm going to confess life i'm going to confess healing i'm going to confess divine protection i'm going to confess things that are in scripture and believe that god is going to accomplish his word that none of the words of god will go out uh, empty-handed but it would fulfill its very purpose in our lives so let's take this time as we pray let's we're going to declare the word of god and we're going to declare words of healing that will flow upon our nation bow down your heads and let's and let's pray lord we thank you because you are a god who accomplishes his promise lord your words are yes and amen lord what you say it will come to pass lord even how you created the word the world lord it is through the word of god when you said let there be it came to pass and so lord today we come as your church and we are declaring in faith lord we come now lord even as we pay attention to the words of god and closely observe what god is doing we speak words of life and words of faith so lord we pray god for everybody that we know who has the virus who has the covid virus in the name of jesus we are declaring healing to flow upon bodies lord you said if anyone among you is sick uh, bring them to the elders of the church so that they can lay hands and pray for them and they shall recover and so lord today in spite of the limitation lord we decree and we pray for healing to come lord as the authority lord given to us as believers we declare healing over our family our friends lord who might have the virus and we declare today for healing to flow upon these bodies lord we declare that the covid has no power over the name of jesus that every virus shall bow down in the name of jesus so lord we pray for healing to come lord we also pray lord that the peace of god will come lord that uh, the peace of god will will guard our hearts and our minds in christ jesus lord we also declare that no weapon formed against our family shall prosper no weapon formed against our nation shall prosper but everything every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned so lord we condemn this virus today 
And Lord, we declare for the healing power of God to flow upon every barangay, every household, every person. I pray, God, Lord, that there would be a divine protection that you would bring upon our nation and our neighboring nations, that healing would come and healing would flow in the land. Lord, we also declare, Lord, that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Lord, even in the New Testament, people would bring in the sick, and as you lay hands, Lord, they would get well. Science and wonders is going to happen, and Lord, we declare that. We believe that in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, God, that we would not give, Lord, even an inch of doubt and fear to move in our soul. Lord, but we would move in faith and declare the words of God over our life, over our family, over our nation, over our church. Lord, we pray for supernatural healing. We pray for supernatural peace. We pray for the presence of God to be stronger than ever in our lives. Lord, let us be men and women of faith who would hold on to the word of God. Lord, who would stand on the promises of God because your promises are true, your promises are sure. So we thank you, God, because we have put our foundation on the rock. Lord, our foundation is sure and strong because of you. So we can declare by faith. Lord, I pray even today, Lord, that you would give us a passion to open the scripture, to open the word of God, and let the word of God bring healing. Let the word of God bring faith over our lives, over our soul, in Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say, Amen, Amen. All right, God bless you, everyone, and I hope this uh, message of faith encourages you and uh, challenges you to remove the fear and remove the doubt and be men and women of the Word who would declare the Word of God and, and, and would not give up in this fight. God bless you. Stay strong. Be strong and courageous, church. God bless you.